President Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been welcomed to Morocco by an honor guard at Casablanca Airport as the royal couple begin their tour of the African nation. Meghan Markle pregnancy wore a red Valentino dress with an elegant embroidered cape detail. She styled her hair in a polished updo and carried a blush clutch, gloves and heels. Meghan opted for a red dress to represent the Moroccan flag. The red background on the country's flag represents hardiness, bravery, strength and valor. Prince Harry and Meghan have traveled overseas to the North African country for a three-day visit at the request of Queen Elizabeth and on behalf of the UK government. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will stay as guests of the King of. The royal couple are traveling with an entourage of nine including three press staff, two assistant private secretaries and a hairdresser. The royal couple arrived hand-in-hand hand to the airport in Casablanca on Saturday, where they were greeted by the British ambassador to Morocco, Thomas Riley, and his wife, Alex. The tour will also see them travel to the Atlas Mountains and the capital, Rabat. It is also understood medical provisions have been made for Meghan, who is just months away from her due date in late April or early May. Meghan and Harry's visit comes as violent protests broke out in Morocco earlier this week. Emergency exit plans have reportedly been devised by protection officers and British security services have called for extra resources to protect the couple. It is also said Meghan and Harry will not take part in their trademark walkabouts due to riots in capital city Rabat. The pair have a busy schedule of royal engagements planned for the third official overseas following their 16-day tour of Australia, New Zealand, Tonga and Fiji as well as their visit to Dublin last year. Meghan and Harry's visit to Morocco is at the request of the British government, as the UK attempts to strengthen ties with nations outside of the EU post-Brexit. Homas Riley, Britain's ambassador to Morocco, tweeted, The visit is a recognition of the strong relationship between our two countries. It is a chance to enjoy Morocco's history and look to its future, focusing on the role of women, youth and education in making that future at UK in Morocco. Meghan Markle has spent a whirlwind few days in New York City, seeing friends, celebrating her pregnancy with a lavish baby shower, and shopping. The Duchess of Sussex has flown to New York to spend time with friends, celebrate her pregnancy and have retail therapy before her baby arrives. Meghan was in New York for five days, which was attended by many of her close friends, including tennis star Serena Williams, Amal Clooney, former Suits co-star Abigail Spencer. Toronto-based stylist Jessica Maroney and Marcus Anderson, a Soho House consultant. The Duchess of Sussex, 37, wore dark law-spec sunglasses and styled her hair in a classic blowout, placing a hand on her baby bump over her vintage grey coat as she headed out. She completed her look with the nearly skinny maternity jeans by Hatch Maternity as well as beige heels and a matching handbag by Carolina Herrera. Mother-to-be Meghan looked every inch the glamorous royal as she made her way into the restaurant, escorted by the same group of burly officers from the State Department and Royal Protection Officers. The pregnant Duchess recycled the same $3,085 Navy Victoria Beckham coat. She paired the chic double-breasted coat with a black scarf, a pair of black satin boots, thought to be from Isabel Merritt, and a $1,140 black chain handle handbag by vegan designer Stella McCartney. Meghan also modeled a much more glamorous makeup look than she had been seen wearing during the day, modeling a dark smoky eye shadow, while emphasizing her natural pregnancy glow with some highlighter and bronzer. Meghan Markle enjoyed a lavish baby shower in New York this week. The Duchess is back in the UK, to Morocco with Prince Harry, who paid for her hotel and private jet. Was it the public? Did Amal Clooney pay? Meghan Markle is expecting her baby with Prince Harry in the spring. Over the past few days she has been celebrating her soon-to-be motherhood with a lavish bash in New York. It was claimed the Duchess made the five-day trip via private jet. The likes of Serena Williams and Amal Clooney attended a private hotel suite to congratulate the Duchess. Did the public foot the bill for Meghan's trip? Kensington Palace told press that the trip was privately funded, but would not disclose how the bill was paid. Now the Sun have claimed lawyer wife of Hollywood actor George Clooney paid for Meghan's private jet trip. Amal footed the $225,000, 
or £172,600, Bill and joined Megan on a flight, which takes around six and a half hours. The 13-hour round trip will have cost an astounding £13,277 per hour. The son claimed Amal was flying home to the UK with her two children Alexander and Ella. A source said, Megan hitched a ride with Amal on the private jet. Amal was already flying back and covering all the costs so it made total sense. Amal was more than happy for Megan to fly back with her and the kids. It's absolutely not the case that the taxpayers or the royal family paid for the cost of the jet. What about Meghan's hotel? Serena Williams is said to have paid the £172,200 bill for Meghan's three-night stay in a £57,400 suite. The hotel and flights in total cost £344,776.12. Meghan Markle's baby shower ended in disaster for two friends of the Duchess. The women were left stranded in New York for 17 hours after trying to head back to L.A. Meghan's Suits co-star Abigail Spencer, 37, and Pilots teacher Taryn Toomey were delayed for hours. The pair were flying back to Los Angeles. Initially they were delayed for six hours, and eventually the flight was rescheduled for the next day.